One of the things that I was very impressed by the Biala Rebbe is that I came to him uh, maybe one year ago and I told him, listen, the truth is that I'm not able to hold on in the level that I was a few years ago. I was always waking up early, I was going davening nets, and now I can come back from a class at 3 a.m. I'm not able to function until 8, 9, maybe 10 even some days. I, like, I can't. My body is collapsing. I don't have the power to do too much. I need to, 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 to feel myself and to go with that. You go. So I came to him and I asked him about it. I told him, I feel that I'm being too strict on myself and I feel we're not falling from kashrut. It's not that we're violating rules of Torah. We're just not holding as high as we assume that we're supposed to be. So he told me, a person cannot waste his time on those things when he's got a purpose in his life. When a person doesn't have purpose in his life, great. But when you have a purpose, you cannot make a purpose from every small thing. If there is something, let's say now you have something in your Shlom bite. You have an issue with your wife, she's not happy, she's miserable, she's suffering, she is going down. So now you cannot be as strict as you were with three prayers a day in a minyan, with uh, doing whatever you want to do, learn the same time in Beit Midrash, four hours, six hours like before. You cannot. Some person that you will ask will tell you, no, you need to do more. Okay. But from my life experience, I saw that it doesn't work like that. So if you don't have something urgent, something strong, something meaningful that really you need to focus in, so you can do a lot of things. You have time, you can spend six hours in Beit Midrash every day and to pray three times a day in the, in the Minyan and you can do whatever, a lot of things. You can do Chatzot and wake up before dawn and do Mikveh. Great, if you're a Bachu, great, but when you have five children and you're married and people got needs, people got thoughts, you need to bring money to the house, you have family, whatever. There are things that getting more important in the eyes of Hashem. So when I realized that really he's, the Rebbe is pushing me further and further to understand that the purpose that a person got in his life, that's the most important thing, it gave me a big, a huge push. Just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks. husks.